Yeah, hey, I've won the breakfast eating competition already, look. <laughs> but yours was twice the size of mine. <laughs> Thames 21 champion, and he's going to take me on the river. Look, there's my machine there. And it's like a scene from Wacky Races. Look at that, my contraption that he's got. <laughs> are we going to catch some fish? Definitely. What are we going to catch? Loads of roach. Big roach? Big roach. Pound roach? Pound roach. Definitely. Sounds like a plan. Well, to say I'm looking forward to this would be an understatement. So I am on the River Severn at Stowell, and I've come with my friend Calvin Tallett, the 2021 Thames Festival Champion. You might have seen it on my three-part video that I recently did. And um, he's put me on a really good peg, and he says, if I don't catch 40 pound of roach, I want throwing in. So uh, <laughs> I'll settle for half of that. I'll settle for 10 pound. And he says there's a very, very good chance of some pound roach today maybe even something nudging two pound so uh we'll see we'll see there's about two foot of water on uh it's gonna be seven or eight foot i think uh apparently i'm just gonna be a fish about a third out with rod and line maggots and hemp that'll do i've just been given a present by calvin he's just come along whilst i was on the phone because he's found a worm <laughs> so i'm gonna uh look after willie the worm and uh if we're struggling we'll pop him on what do you reckon Right, I am on my box. I'm not sure 100% where I'm going to be fishing, but we're going to feed anyway. A rough area, just comfortable loose feeding range, third away across. And just get some bait in the bag. Take it from there. I've got some old reds and some old bronzes. I'm feeding a bit downstream, and I'm feeding the hemp further downstream. Just a comfortable feeding range. And take it from there. Right, I've got a 15 foot bolo rod, or 15 foot rod anyway, with a bolo rig on, which I'm going to use to plumb up. And I'm going to swap between a bolo and a waggler. Simple as that. It's already got all conned, but I've been advised to fish a bit heavier than that. I'll put my 20 gram plummet on to begin with, but I've got some heavier ones further up my drawer if I need those. Let's just see what we've got off the rod end. They're very shallow off the rod end. Apparently there's a reed bed in the summer you'll see on these pegs. So let's just plumb up. Yeah, that's so that's still a good eight inches or more shallower than that. All right, that's about the depth. Not a bad guess looking at that. And obviously, it's just a rough estimate. It might get shallower, it might get deeper as we go downstream. So, uh, just hold it nice and high. Top and bottom floats really good for plumbing up. Tell you what, that is the depth. That's a great guess. So it is. Probably about eight foot. So let's run that down. This might as well put a hook bait on, don't we? Just put one bronze maggot on and run it down just to see. Out there. Get her eye in. Just dragging a bit, so yes, yeah, probably a little bit shallower than that. I just brought the float up a foot and it just ran through lovely and clean. So I'm gonna just keep deepening off until it starts dragging again now. Just keep putting some bait in. Hopefully we'll get an arrival, but I've got a lovely clean run by the looks of it. 
I've not even put any floating or anything on this at the moment. There's no wind, no nothing. I was, I've got some spray and some mousse. Oh, that was, that might have been a bite. Definitely dipped right at the end, right under those cables. Some pylons right down the peg. Nowhere near where I'm casting. Hence why this is quite a big peg, because there's quite a, a, a big gap, because there's some um, phone lines or something going across what would be the next peg. Let's put two maggots on. You can always search a bit further out if they won't come on this line. Kingfisher. take a little bit of just getting used to. I'm not doing this sort of fishing a lot. At all. See that's dragging now. So we just deepen up a touch and we'll be in business. Sorry, shallow up a touch. A little bit of juggling here and there. And Calvin reckons we, when they arrive you'll probably catch a foot off the bottom as well. So uh, no bleak at the moment anyway which is good. Not seen anything top. So I'll put single maggot on. The view of this bolo rig, it's pretty much tangle proof to begin with. <laughs> Someone who's not the greatest rod and line angler at this sort of game anyway. It's a godsend. Just nice positive crude rig to start with. I haven't even set the waggler up yet. But we'll run this down first, see what the flow's like before um, picking a waggler and and shotting it to suit down. I reckon about a 3 AA waggler, 2 or 3 AA. Probably some number 8s down would be good, looking at the flow. On the Avon and that, I'd be using a lovely light insert with uh, number 10s down the line, but got to boss the flow a little bit more on the river like this. The shook bait will never get down. That's lovely there. I'm not going to run it down too far to begin with. I've been, I've been told there's an odd barbel and chub and everything in here, but it's this roach that we're after. And if we went further downstream, it'd be dice. All right, we've got the uh, the depth. So uh, these are all MXB2 hooks. I'm going to put something a bit more substantial. I'm going to go 16 to 012 to begin with. This fish a bit cruder, shall we say. I think Calvin, believe it or not, might be fishing a 14 or even a 12 with three or four maggots on. But that's crude for me, a 16 to 012, which is probably about two and a half pound bottom in old money. Foot hook length, nothing fancy to begin with. Let's spread that out. Let's move that olive out up a touch now. This fish a little bit nice to begin with. So we've got an olivet. That one's just as a kicker, just helps it kick away from the olivet. And two, uh, and two eights. See how we get on with that. Oh, fish double maggot. These are nice maggots, actually. Even though they're old, Calvin says they're old maggots. He's given me, but good enough for me. <laughs> so a bit an overhead car. It's a little bit. Awkward with this tree. Oh, yeah. So a little bit awkward with this tree above me. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. I thought I'd done my best to miss it. No one's looking. Calvin never saw that. I'm not really useless, honest. I just click it. So, like I said, I've got this a little bit awkward because of this tree above me. And right hand here, I hooked it. So let's go back, double maggot. Let's just cast it nicely then. That's better. Doesn't go as far like that for me. But, uh, doesn't need to, to begin with. Third, third across is ample. 
So there's definitely, I think on that little run through, it's a little bit shallower, then it just deepens up a little bit. That's better. That's a bite. There we are. Looks like a dace. It is a dace. Big hen dace. Ooh, it's got some line around it or something. What's that then? It's got someone else's hook in its mouth. What are the chances of that? First fish is a dice with someone else's hook in its mouth. How did someone get cracked off with a dice? <laughs> Let's put that in the drawer. So we are off the, off the start with a lovely dice. So anyway, there's fish there. That's the main thing. Give them some bait. Look at them. That was right at the top of the peg as well. Won't even need to set that waggler up. It's going down lovely. The bows, there's no bow or anything. It's if the float's leading. If the bow starts coming past your float, then you know you've got a start mending it a little bit more and putting a bit of floatant on and everything to try and uh, sort of correct it. But that's just trotting down. Perfect. As far as the line behind the float goes. I'd be happy with that. Yeah. Oh, come on. Little, little fish that was. Little fish. Oh yeah, smashed me. Put a single back on. Need to fish doubles. That's better. I'm going to try and use up these old reds first, and then we'll, when they arrive, we'll be back to the bronzes. So you've had one and bumped one. Only a little fish that one we bumped. Could have fished casters, could have just fished hemp and tears, but Calvin assures me maggots are all we need. Ooh, that's a good fish. And uh, Calvin's definitely right. <laughs> oh, wow. The big one. <laughs> there you are. It's my first ever River Seven roach. To the scourgeon. He wasn't coming off. So there we are. We nearly dropped him back. Under there. Oh, and he's gone back. <laughs> I just dropped my first roach back. Hey? Oh yeah, I just dropped mine back. I've had a big dice with someone's hook in it. Can't believe I dropped that one back. <laughs> I have to catch a bigger one now, won't I? You just had a pounder. No, I. And Waggler. Bolo. That's all I've set up at the moment. Right. Calvin says he's fishing slightly over depth and holding on to it a bit. So we'll try that. Because that's going through clean now. Monkey see, monkey do. Good angle, I would have had a few more fish by now. Just nice to build up your skill base, so. That was a bite, definite bite. Oh. Little days. That might be what the miss bites are, won't it?
Leave me alone. <laughs> Complete dive bomb by seagulls now. <laughs> Absolutely dive bombed here. I'm going to hook a seagull in a minute. I can't believe how many there are in front of me. Can you see that? Absolutely going ballistic. <laughs> Chuck it upstream a bit. You can see myself playing a seagull. <laughs> Carnage. Calvin's catching, I'm not. I'm not convinced I'm doing it quite right at the moment. We're getting bites. Can't hit a single one. Although my last fish was a little dice. There you go. Main one on. Feels a bit dicey. I don't know, it's a roach. Nice roach. We've got to see Calvin a bit because he's already had a roach nudging a pound, he reckons. Every time I say I can't hit a bite, it's a bite. Another dice. Another dice, isn't there? Alright, let's go see Kelvin. Because I'm not catching as well as I should be. He's having a fish, a chuck. I'm quite interested to see how he's fishing. You emptying it, boss? See how you're doing it. Proper, proper dice I've had, decent ropes. My first dice had someone's hook in it. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> What's that? Oh, two and a half gram? Three gram? Three gram, number six. Is that seven, eight foot? Yeah. It's one olivet, one dropper. Yeah. That'd be easy. 16 up, two maggots. 0 012? 010? 010. 010. See, I'm fishing 012. Might be a bit crude for him at the moment. Maybe. I doubt it though. <laughs> I doubt it. Well, I had six in six chucks, yeah. and then you turned up and they're gone. Well, that's it. I'm good at that. That was a bite, though. Yeah, yeah. A couple of nice dice. I've had one off. I had a nice roach and I dropped it back. <laughs> yeah. I've had one that's probably 12 ounces. That was a second fish. You've had any of that M? I tried, they just don't get the distance. <laughs> it's a little bit small. I can't quite get the distance with them. He's off on the bait a bit. Sometimes you, you have to feed a load, and then when the fish arrive, they'll, you can ease off on it. Catch quicker. That's dancing a bit then, isn't it? So yeah. It's having a go at that. He's been on a while, that one, isn't he? Yeah. A little in. Big snag just just to the left of that. I've lost one fish in it already. Oh, it's a oh, dice. Thought, it's a dice. The smallest fish. <laughs> so what weights you had here? Forty pound. Yeah. Thirty thirty five pound plus. I've done a few times. And the last time, how many roach did you have over a pound? Nine. Nine roach over a pound. <laughs> nine from that peg you're on. Wow. So you've caught them all, that's why. Up that's why one, I'm not catching. Up to 110. Crikey. You bring scales with you? Yeah. Oh, right. Well, when I catch that two pounder, you'll be able to tell yeah. me if it's 115 or two yeah. pound one. The wind's perfect though, isn't it? It's awesome. lovely behind the, behind the float and everything. Perfect. Even I can control it. Now I'm fish 12 inch hook length. I probably should shorten it just a touch. 10 I've used. 10, yeah. 
I tend to start at 12 and I'll, I will shorten it on that bollo a little bit. Awkward cast, isn't it? It is here. You've only My, got one way. Mine's the same. I, if, you, if I cast it under him, I can't get anything like the distance. No. That's where they usually go there. You definitely get wobbles there every time it goes there, don't you? Yeah. You're going to swap to a waggler in a bit? Yeah, I'll try it. I'll usually give it an hour on this and then try something else. It shallows up by that tree. Mm. The fish are definitely... Well, wrong. I'm reassured you're fishing very similar to me. You're just probably putting it through a bit nicer. And you're feeding much higher upstream. Yeah. But I don't want you. I fed downstream because I don't want you to nick my fish. Yes. <laughs> well, I fed upstream. I've got a match head on me. Yeah. <laughs> I fed upstream of me, so I didn't try and poach your fish. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be the opposite, wouldn't it, in a match? Yes. I'd be feeding two lines, some downstream and some up. Try and draw them up. So you're going to be on four maggots on a 12 soon? I will be once I start going. Four pound line straight through. Nice. And then it don't matter what you walk, you get out. As long as it's not the bottom? No. Well, I thought I'd cracked it when I started catching. I had six in six chucks and I'm thinking, here we go, here we go, it's like shelling peas. Big days they were though, I had some big days. Right. So I caught my nice ring. You have chub on here as well? Occasionally, yeah. They're not not big. No. What's it like here, like February, March time? Same. Same. Yeah. I've had thirty pound in March. Ooh. There, you go. there we are. That's the one. So, a fish. Watch that snag that's down there. Let's see over it now. Ah, oh, a babby. There's a babby. There's a babby. Yeah. That's sort of average it. Yeah, nice. Oh, Lovely. Four ounces. I've seen enough, I'm going to go and catch one myself now. Good. Good to it. Now I've been given a lesson by the master. Right, just moved my camera. And um, it's quite encouraging watching Calvin fishing actually. So he's had four pound of fish already. He's just had a nice big roach as I've left him. So, um, it's given me a bit of encouragement to uh, change a few little bits and bobs and um, put a slightly finer hook length and um, yeah I'm not doing it too far wrong just not quite getting the bite yet but it's encouraging to watch Calvin and um, see how he's doing it so let's have a little go again um, it's just nice to watch other people sometimes see where you're going wrong or going right you know sometimes it watching other people proves that you're actually not doing it things too far wrong so I've just moved the camera I'm gonna um, shorten this hook length to a, a 10 inch hook length and then um, I'll probably drop down to 010 and just see but as Calvin said when they arrive four pound direct to a 12 and they'll have it but they're not quite having it just yet so let's have a little play jump back on the box <sighs> and uh, take it from there. The old 16 back on, but to 010. I'm just gonna shorten it a touch. Just take a couple of inches off it. The fact I was missing bites shows that I perhaps wasn't um, seeing them quick enough. So let's pop that down. Bring that Oliver a little bit nearer. It's going to go with one number eight down now to begin with. Be a little bit less tangle prone than two. And uh, ideally, you want it so 
when you fold it up, the hook is shorter than where the Oliver is. So let's just move it up just a fraction. That's it. So when it, when the hook length goes above, it shouldn't tangle above itself. Good practice with anything. So double maggot, double bronze maggot. But I'm really sort of um, encouraged now after watching this Calvin fish. I think that makes a, a big difference. Just proving you're not doing it too far wrong. There you are. <laughs> Straight away. <laughs> so I've gone from not catching a couple of slight tweaks. What we got there? Wow, that is a big dice. Huge dice. <laughs> Let's move that around, isn't it? <laughs> That's a clonking dice, isn't it? First chuck back and I've had a massive dice. Yeah, that weren't far off. I've suddenly got renewed confidence. I just got had just was doubting everything that I was doing. So uh, the only difference with me and Calvin now is he's fishing a three gram bolo and I'm fishing a two. Um, but I don't think that's the difference between us catching now. As a downstream peg, I uh, technically have more fish to to uh, to go at, but obviously he can nick my fish. <laughs> so. Uh, There's pros and cons to being upstream or downstream. But at least downstream, I've got the whole river to pull. Yeah. Ooh, fish. A nice dice. Well, I'm not sure what's happened there. I lost the whole bottom part of my rig. So it must have hit a snag or been cut off on something. So let's change. Order. Three gram. So number four bolo. And then we'll set a waggler up as well. In a sec. That was very strange. I'd struck and lost the whole lot halfway up my rig. Which is right where no float had been, no uh, no Olivet. So I lost the whole bottom of my rig. So I've anyway, it's given me an excuse to try a free gram bolo. Same same setup. 0, 010, 16. And uh Calvin swapped to a waggler now, he says and had a couple. But we'll, I'm still keen to have a few runs on there before swapping to the waggler. That's going to bump it down. Let's just have another feed. Just going to start the process all over again, really. That's better. About three grams better. At least for casting. I should be able to hold on to it a little bit more as well. Just, just slow it a touch and obviously if you slow it like that just trap it and let it go again that's going to lift everything up hopefully induce a bite so I'm going to do that again one more time and let it go the fish oh, he's not that little is he River Seven Roach, cracker. Ooh, nearly threw him back. <laughs> Stop admiring them too long, they jump out your hands. Yeah. Amazing, isn't it? Just just that little visit to Calvi. And I'm, uh, I just know I'm doing it half right now. It's a dice. Wow. This river, 70 miles from me, I'm definitely going to come back. <laughs> this is Birmingham Anglers Association water, as I said already, I think. 
and uh, an absolute jewel. Just one angler, just one other angler on the river. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? And we're in a, you know, we're not out in the sticks, we're uh, in the middle of town. Got to be a day, so why he's flapping in. I think I lost my disgorger on the last fish, just dropped it in. So, I feel I'm doing it half right now. Oh! That was a, good that was a big, that was a pound, wasn't it? That was a pound plus, sir. Is he broke yeah. me? Better not broke me. It's like it snagged me. No, it's not broke me either. That was a big road, that was. That was huge, wasn't it? Mm. Bugger. That was a fishing here over two pounds. Well over two pounds. Just pulled off. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. It might be time for three maggots in a size 12. I've got to catch one on nice sensible gear for her. <laughs> Before putting some at crude on. Oh, that was that was lovely, that fish. Definitely, wasn't it? That was a day winner, that one was. Absolutely gutted he came off. That was a pound, wasn't it? Oh, easy. And the rest. <laughs> it didn't feel like a chub or anything. No, it was a rope. You could tell by the way it's jagging on your rod. He sort of kited inside, didn't he? Yeah. There's all sorts of branches down here. Yeah, there's one just here that I've um, hooked. I can't see. I can't see down there. Right. <laughs> I'll come here with my pole, I think. Ball it. What do you reckon? Yeah, it's all right. Clunk. <laughs> How big's that for a dace? And you've had them ten. <laughs> Mega. Yeah, you put me right. I'm fishing. I was fishing too close. I can't believe you just part where you have, and it, and it's like. And it's just nice, isn't it? Very easy yeah. It's just to know what that guy will catch on the feeder, isn't it? Lifter, I, I call them lifters. That's on free market. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. fish now. Calvin's put me right. I'm just fishing probably another two rod lengths further out than I was. And it's just a fisher chuck now and I've just started to get some roach amongst the big dice. Boat. There's boat. Ooh, that might be a roach. That's a roach. Oh, I don't know. The way he's flashing on so he's a dice. What do I know? Good dice. Ooh! <laughs> All that roach heaven, dice heaven. Look at that. Now I'm fishing more mid river, it's made such a difference.
And three maggots definitely seems to be the key. Putting three on a 16. Just like that. Lovely. Nice. Decent bronze maggots. Chucking it out, feathering it down. Big pouch as far as you can comfortably feed. Just check the line. Anywhere around there, it should go bosh under. One, two, three. Come on, read the script. Somewhere around there then. There you are. Well, Calvin came down, had a chat, and um, put me right actually, because I wasn't fishing quite far enough out. And as soon as I have, it's just like been like flicking a switch. I've caught some lovely big dace. Um, an odd big roach, I've lost a massive roach, it's definitely a pound roach um, and it's just pulled off and Calvin's pulled out one as well himself so um, but I had a nice run on that um, bolo, uh, three gram bolo down the middle um, and I just fancy catching on a stick float now so I've gone for a nice strung out seven number four John Allerton stick I've got my old trusty uh, 13 foot matrix horizon waggler, close face reel this has got um, four pound horizon which is 016 if I just bring it down, you can see a nice old school John Allerton 7 number 4 stick float. So uh, I'm itching to catch on this. Uh, we'll see if it's, uh, it's going to be harder to get it out there down the middle. I might have to put uh, an 8 number 4 or, or, or even a 10 number 4 stick float on just to reach the distance. Um, but we'll see. We'll see if we can get out there or not. And um, I'm quite keen. To just see if I can catch on this. I was going to set a waggler rod up, but um, I thought we'll set the stick float up instead. And uh, we can always set a waggler up afterwards. A little tangle around my tip. But yeah, so let's get on my box and start fishing. I've carried on feeding, but I've not been uh, fishing for a bit, so uh, a few little jobs to do. So we'll. Uh, Okay, see if we can do an overhead cast, might not be able to. Might need a slightly heavier stick float, I think. We'll see. See how this copes. Quite this feels different to that big heavy bolo. I'm just fishing short of my feed now with this. Going through nice. There we are. I'm not joking, that is first car. It might be a big roach looking at it. First cast on the stick. That's a big roach, I think. Feels like a big roach. First cast. Is that a roach? Oh yeah, that's a nice big roach. <laughs> Not a pound, but he ain't far off. Oh yeah. <laughs> Come on. Oh, he's up just in the side, just in the, just in the nose. Well, there you are. <laughs> first fish, first truck on the stick float. <laughs> Absolute clunker. And that's potentially a small one. He'll do for me. I'm just going to swap this 7 number 4 John Allerton. So that's what I was using. And I'm going to swap it to a, uh, an 8 number 4 Woodies. But I think it takes more shot. I think that John Allerton is more like a, a 5 number 4 truth be told. So we'll see how we get on with this and if not we'll put a proper big lignum stick on instead. But that's the seven number four wood is now and it's gonna have to take a bit more shot. So we'll pop some shot on. I don't think I've brought my round shot so I'll have to make it up with stops which isn't a problem. Take another four number eight, maybe more. Two. Two. 
Calvin gone really quiet above me as well. He said he went ages without a bite. So uh, they're definitely a bit more fickle than uh, than we'd hoped today. But they're still lovely fish. I know they're there. Just take a bit more catching than than they're normal. There they are. Oh, that's a little dace, I think. Rolled himself off the hook. Be a little dice, I think. If it's no better, this we'll quickly swap back to the bolo, but it's just lovely to chuck in the stick float out. Can't do any nice sideways cast or anything. One because my camera's there and there's a tree there and a horrible stuff behind me. So we'll just a nice overhead cast. Up to the fish, right at the bottom of the peg. So, it's a nice rope. I'm tempted to try going, because it's not as prolific as Calvin hoped, I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to just try uh, going um, finer on the hooks. Let me put, a, put an 18 on, just to see. I'm getting some fish on the stick. They're definitely not as good as what I was catching on the bolo. I've even tried shallowing up. But um, I'm not convinced it's better. So uh, we might break this down and set a waggler up. And I'm going to go back to the bolo in a sec. But, uh, we'll have a couple more good chucks because it's just nice to watch a stick float go down. Even though it's not as, uh, not as good. Doesn't seem to be. I've had a few suck maggots as well, so they are getting away. But I have shallowed right up, and it's not made a difference. I just think there's some smaller fish up in the layers. Might be bigger fish, you don't know, but they're getting away with it. It's right at the bottom of the peg. And I think we're going to swap to the bolo. Dice. Dice. Now we're behind the master at work, swinging in another roach. Oh, a little dice. Uh, chuck that one back. What, Jack? Then? Well, I think he's rubbish, but I yeah. Say, <laughs> I can't say he's good. Look at that really. for a lunch bag. Hey, eh? it's awesome, toast on our breakfast. Awesome. We've got black. Oh, we've both got only, be now. Only the famous Kelvin Tallick takes a toast out of the cafe oh, no. to bring with him to eat. I'm surprised he hadn't put it on the oh, oak. Isn't that disgusting? Oh, four bags of mini cheddars. Well, there's three of us. Yeah. Go halves on a Kit Kat. Yeah. You realise he is fishing my peg. This is the famous two pound roach peg. He's snuck in here a bit sharp because well, I wasn't here. Chuck him off and have a go. Hey. Master at work. Yes, he's going. He good. hasn't even got a proper bait tub. Look, he's just fishing out of the bucket. Right, three maggots back on the uh, the three gram bolo rig. There's a few fish on the stick float, and I've come right up off the bottom with a stick, but it just didn't seem as good as this. So I've got, I'm going to revert back to this and just say, just bossing the current a little bit more, boshing it down through any any fish, and just getting it down to where I hope there's a few quality fish. And I've always got the option of swapping to a waggler rig as well, if I do think they're up in the water. Straight away, just feels better. A lot of days, a lot of days. Happy days are here again.
the moment I've got a bulk and two droppers as well I'm gonna probably move it back down to a bulk and one and just see just see if that speeds things up it's worth juggling your shot around a little bit on days like this and your depths and everything can't ever fish one presentation all day for for a river like this for a silver fish I don't think Oh, that's a little one. Is that our littlest fish of the day? It certainly is. Look at that little dace. So there's all sorts of sizes and year classes. Oh, when you get that ripple, it's hard to see a thing. Yeah. It's all that. <laughs> We're on the 18 now. Little dice. I just think I feel uh, quite a lot of little dice have moved in. Big on some rivers, but little by today's standards. Just sit behind Ron. <laughs> sit behind Ron yeah. just to catch big fish. Yeah. Really your lot, no. I'd rather get bites than I mean, I, I, my matches drag me around. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. so I, I'm, this time of year I get forced where my matches are. So yeah, yeah, of course. This of course. lockdown was nice. I could do what I wanted yeah, within reason yeah. <laughs> without travelling. Oh, there's a roach. I thought it was a dace. Do you want that one there? Yeah, yeah, one. As soon as they touch my hand, must be my skin. That's good. I love that. I'm now <laughs> <in shot. I'm laughs> Got it in one. Got it in one, mate. I should have been shot, actually. <laughs> I might have to net this one. Yeah, oh yeah, that's one. definitely a netter. I'm not swinging that. Oh, I wasn't going to swing that anyway. Uh, <laughs> that's not off the back of the hand one. Look at those dorsals up. Oh no, they've jumped in there. <laughs> that's it, put it in the net boys. Oh, that's I've broke my hook again. Oh no. no. Oh, my God, it got wrapped around that ring. Yeah. Might as well be. You were a pro now, you were the pond. No, I tell you what, you're, you're going to love that, John. Oh, mate, you're going to love it. For what? That's it. Farmer's Weekly. Farmer's Weekly. I'm going to get back, I'm going to rush back to my car, get my laptop out, whiz them over to the Times. <laughs> Give us a wave. <laughs> I've got my chest cam on, they wouldn't know who you are. Who's that bloody bloke in the background, Who's John? Who's that big bugger in the background shouting away? Skylining you. We'll line you on to Darren the Dace. Uh, four pound horizon on that. Is it? Yeah. yeah it's, oh, it's, it's thin, it's nice and thin, 016. So it's like three pound in a lot of oh, right. a lot of um, brands. It's nice, yeah, it's lovely for float fishing. Is it? Well, I use it for everything, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. It's a nice, nice grey coloured line. Yeah. I like it. I think you've got to change it. You know, it's not like the old school lines that last for yeah. three or four seasons. You've got, to, no. you've got to change it if it shows. Yeah. 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 Well, this has been going over a year on this. Has it? I mean, that itself is, is you know, we wouldn't have used a four pound line on the float years ago, would we? No, but this is still thinner than. Than probably old Maxi. Than, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, you know, two, six, three, two. Yeah, yeah. Bayer or whatever. Yeah, of course. And they are always thicker than people thought. That's true, that's very true. Two pound Maxima was really thick, I think. Is it? Anywhere there. I told him. I've nailed the shot already, Kelp, so, oh, yeah. yeah, one shot pond. One shot pond, yeah. One for the ladies. <laughs> started off, I think it's so started. Gone further downstream now. Oh, that's a little one, that's fine. Yeah, yeah I need some new ones in. <laughs> but do you want my old stuff? I'd love to see what's going on down there. They are, they're right down there now, aren't they? Yeah. Two more. 
Whoa! Whoa! I told you, didn't I? Just before it, that roach, when I went to net it, went a bit funny. <laughs> Pike magnet. That was a big one. <laughs> <laughs> I said just before it, didn't I? Yeah, I was just wondering. I've played a few roach and all of a sudden they go, Whew. why don't you know they've been chased by a pike? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. I fished, I fished um, the canal at Soudley once. Yeah. Uh, on the Odnit water. And um, I remember catching a gudgeon. And um, I was playing it like that, and all of a sudden it shot like that, like faster than I was playing it, down my edge. And I went, what's going on there? And all of a sudden, the two to three pound perch was right behind it. Really? And it, and it. And it hit the wall, and it's like, where's it gone? Where's it gone? So I just dangled it, and it just went, Rrr. and I had to walk three pegs down the canal of it, and then eventually it just broke me off. Massive perch, that was. But to see that gudgeon suddenly, like, from... Yeah from dragging it to suddenly going faster than I'm pulling it. Is that on the Shroppy Union? Yeah, 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 there's some massive, massive ones um, oh, right. at Soudley, yeah. Hot, uh, Goldston, you know, all of that. Big old perch there. Yeah. Any of the Shroppy's good, isn't it? Yeah. Like the Staff, the Staff Worcester yeah. in Stafford's was always really good back of the boat club they always used to catch big perch there before yeah. big perch were a thing if you know what i mean oh, yeah. Yeah. oh this is going to be snaffled isn't it ah. <laughs> you try and get one to take and they don't yeah, yeah, yeah. one more one more fish Lovely now, you don't want to pack up now, do you? Although that pike's going to have this. Don't have me roach. Well, that's the last one, definite. Yeah. See what Calvin's caught. Nice one to end on, isn't it? <laughs> there we are. Cracking day on the river. That's probably my best one. Where's your best one? you beat me on the pound, didn't you? That's definitely bigger than mine. And you've had the biggest dace. But uh, I had the biggest pike strike. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Most definitely. So uh, I got a nice lesson in river fishing from the uh, Thames Festival champion. And uh, thanks very much for uh, inviting right. me to this fantastic bit of river. That's fine. Birmingham AA, you've got a real jewel in the crown here.